Well, everybody, it's been forever since I've filmed the video. So I'm working on some brakes on my newish car. Um, for a while, I have had this, let's see, I'm waiting on the registration for the last three months or so, and I still haven't gotten it. This is just an 09 Forester. I'm just gonna use it to commute, to work and whatever. So, um, I still have this, and I have something else that is supposed to be parked right here near my dad's car. It's supposed to be parked here, but since I bought it, it's needed a lot of work, and um, I think that we're kind of getting there. But anyway, it's just gonna be quick. I just wanted to do something. I figured I'm working, so I'll make a little bit of content. Um, as interesting as it may seem, or as uninteresting as it may seem, I'm gonna make it. Some pads and some rotors. So the problem is, is I'm dumb, and I don't know if this has rotors, or drums, because I didn't look like an idiot. Okay, well, we've got discs, which is good. Uh, so in the front, I just replaced these guys, and it looks like I should probably do the ones in the rear, they're actually not that expensive if I just buy the whole assembly. Uh, it was fairly easy, so I just I just did both. But um, I was going to film it, and I didn't because I just wanted to get it done, but I'll film this. So I've got this bolt right here to take off, this one right here to take off, and there's two of each of those, so top and bottom. My impact gun would have been nice, but... I don't think I'm actually going to be able to use it because of how cramped it is in here. So I'm going to get these greased up with some, uh, you know, blaster. Now I'm going to see if I can find some sizes here. Probably a 12 here and... I don't know, it looks like this might be the same, but that would be weird. I don't know, we'll see. my experience get a screwdriver and you could probably pry this out but be careful because this caliper has you know the brake line on it, it could snap because these metal fittings do tend to rot shouldn't say fitting I don't, I don't even know what you call it anyway they rot when you pull it off set it somewhere safe I'm gonna put it on my control arm being sure not to kink the line. They're not terrible. They're not great. So, sometimes they're stuck. But this one came off. And these look like drum brakes. That's just your e-brake. So, you don't have to worry about that. This is junk. So when I said that these weren't bad, I was lying. Uh, while these are not, you know, toasted, they're not going to be squealing and squeaking, uh, I'm still happy that I'm replacing them because this is what a new one looks like, and there's plenty of material on here, like triple the material on here than what I have on my old ones. So, glad those are done. So here's two new pads. Front and back, and they'll kind of just, I didn't get new, I was saying before they usually send new clips here. I didn't get new clips and it's fine. These are, these usually don't rot. So I'm just gonna put these 
and the clips that are already in here, which is fine. Uh, I got a new rotor, obviously. This is really an easy job. I just figured some people new to working on their cars might be able to find, you know, might find this helpful. Oh, one more thing. Usually in these kits, these pad kicks, I, I spent like no money on these. I went to Rock Auto and got them for super cheap, so I'm not surprised they didn't come with any grease. You could usually pull these pins out. These pins should go in and out, and you could put some grease in this boot and on the pin. Uh, I don't have any grease. It is what it is. At least get oiled up from the factory to keep them from rotting, so it might be a good idea to wipe that grease down. So I got the other side finished. My dad pulled up the driveway, he started talking to me, so I just shut the camera off. Uh, so I'll kind of resume where I left off there. Uh, this side's all taken apart, I gotta put the rotor back on, but something that I just had to do was, I couldn't, I couldn't get this loose up here, I didn't have enough room to tap it with the hammer, so I pulled the handle off the jack stand, and I wrapped it around the bottom of the ratchet, like this. Oops, trying to do it one hand is weird. Wrapped it around the bottom of the ratchet, so I kind of used it as a breaker bar. It's just a little tip to use, I guess. Probably something that everybody already knows. Uh, but in case you didn't, now you do. So, this is your bracket for your pads. So what happens is, first off, if you get a pad that's got those little tongue on it, uh, this is actually a wear indicator. So once your pads get low enough, this little tab here will actually scrape against your rotor and it will make a terrible noise when you're driving. And that's how you know that your brakes are like, they're pretty much gone at that point because there's, this this is marked at no pad. So I don't know why they don't have that a little higher. Nonetheless, so this will go on the rear side of your rotor. The one without the tongue on it will go on the front side of your rotor. You just kind of line this up with these pins here and it will fit, should fit right in here. And then the other one will just fit right in here. What you want to do is when you put it together, you want it to have enough space so that it fits in, so that this rotor can fit in between the pads. And when I'm done putting it together, I'll actually show you. Also, another thing is if you want to wear gloves, it's a good idea to keep your hands from getting dirty. I just, my hands sweat really bad in gloves, so I just don't like to wear them. Um, and again, if you have grease, definitely grease these up. Mine don't seem that bad. They spin really nice. They come in and out easy, so. I'm gonna leave them alone. I don't have any grease. I don't wanna go buy it. In some sets of pads, only one pad will have the tongue on it for the uh, indicator of how far they've worn down. Uh, theoretically, your brake should be wearing pretty much symmetrically, so if the other side that has the tongue is bad, this side should also be bad. Uh, I know this is a little off. It's not straight in there, but once I tighten down the piston, or yeah, once I tighten down the piston and the caliper and, and I assemble it all back together, it should flatten out. Um, as long as there's room for it to fit around the rotor. So to do the piston, you wanna get an old pad. Okay, so I got it ready. Also, my problem was I was using the pad that has the tongue on it and that didn't leave any room for this to slide in there. So what you're gonna do is pretty much just screw this in until this piston compresses all the way to the back or as far as it can go. And I'll see if I can set this up. I'll try to tilt this towards you. So you're just going to go ahead and tighten. And if you could see, the piston is now all the way back in here and it's ready to be put back together.
Yeah, I'm gonna start this pile of crap. And my brake pad, actually I shouldn't even really have to start it, but I'm going to. Before I start it, I'm gonna push my pad. It should feel like nothing because the pistons are compressed. Yeah, so I went down to the floor easy. So I'm gonna tighten it up. And then I'll start the car. There we go. Feels good. Okay, so brakes are done, car is done, I'm done. I've got some stuff coming up, I guess. Nothing too special. I have a car that I got uh, about a year and a half ago, almost two years. I still haven't showed because like I said, it's supposed to be right here and uh, it's had way too much, too much trouble. So should have it back soon though. And I'll show you when I get it. So thanks for watching and that'll be it. Thank you.